Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to share this tool with you called Big JPEG. A viewer emailed it to me and I've actually found it really useful recently. So what it does is it uses AI to enhance the resolution of our images. So you can use it completely free and get a 2X or a 4X increase in resolution and it works really quickly, really easily, uh, and it's free. So what's not to love about that? In this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can use it to maybe help you with your print-on-demand business or really anything else you're doing that involves graphics on the internet. So let's get right to it. Quick plug, I have a free print-on-demand mini course linked in the description, and I've got a great print-on-demand Facebook group that is also linked in the description if you'd like to join. So I'm over here on bigjpeg.com, and all I need to do is drag and drop an image over here where it says select images. So I went ahead and it's weird because it's like you never struggle with finding a low resolution. Well, I don't know if you ever look for low resolution images. I guess nobody really does. But it's like sometimes you need a high resolution image and all you can find is low resolution. But then when I'm looking for a low resolution image, it's like impossible to find. Finally, I found one that I can use for demo purposes. Uh, this robot that you see right here. The dimensions are 209 by 241 pixels. I'm gonna drag it and drop it right here, and then I'm gonna click Start. Now, you cannot do 8X and 16X without paying, so that is worth noting, but you can do 2X or 4X, so let's do 4X. Uh, in terms of like noise reduction, uh, it's a pretty like straightforward uh, graphic here without any, like I'm assuming noise just means kind of like background. Um, anything in the background and since we have a white background here on this photo I doubt we need any noise reduction here so I'm gonna leave that at none and it says artwork or photo so if you have photographs you want to blow up from you know maybe you had to scan in some images from you know decades ago or whatever you can do that here and then use uh, big JPEG as well so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on artwork we'll click OK and just give it you know a minute or two and it should work it says about three minutes actually so I guess it's a little bit slower than I remembered uh, either way, and you know what I was thinking, and I haven't tried this because I figured why not just do an organic test on camera, but why don't we try to run the output from here again since you know how it said that you have to pay for 8x or 16x? Well, why don't we run the output again and see if we can get it to do another 4x for us uh, for free? So let's try that. So I've got the outputs right here, and at a glance, when you're kind of zoomed out, it's hard to tell them apart, but I pulled them into Photoshop and made them bigger, and you can kind of see the difference. Hopefully it's coming through here um, with the side-by-side, -side. but the one on the left definitely got blurry when I blew it up, and the one on the right uh, looks to be a little bit more crisp and whatnot, but it's definitely like not a perfect solution but I will definitely say confidently that it is better than nothing. Now, why don't we go ahead and drop the uh, <laughs> the 4X one back in and see if we can get it to another 4X and see what that ends up looking like. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to look probably more like this one on the right-hand side, but more pronounced. All right, I went ahead and I grabbed the uh, 4X run through another 4X, and now you're seeing it side-by-side -side with the original uh, so in case you're wondering, I guess that probably is like a free way of doing it uh, without having to pay, you know, to the, what is it, 4x4, four four. it should be 16x, right, unless I'm going crazy here, um, and that increased the resolution, so what we did here was the original was 209 by 241 pixels, the next one was 836 by 964, and after that it took it to 3344 by 3856 pixels, uh, it's not perfect, but definitely better than nothing. So I wanted to make you guys aware of this tool. Like I said, at a minimum, I've been liking it when I'm making YouTube thumbnails and the graphics I'm finding are too low resolution. So I go blow them up and uh, quite useful for that. You can try it on photographs too, and it's going to do basically what you see here, uh, but it's going to try to you know probably hide it a little bit better since photographs tend to be a little bit more complex. So it's less obvious that you used AI to enhance the quality of the photo. Anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to share with you in today's video. If you know of any other cool tools that I need to know about, please let me know. Drop it in the comments, email me, whatever. Um, and if it's good, I'll share it with everybody. But uh, let me know your thoughts on Big JPEG. I'll link to it in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.